three, two, one. What's up guys? Liquid nitrogen versus the iPhone 8. I wanna go ahead and see when subjected to ultra cold temperatures, how does the iPhone 8 react? Now, the Samsung Galaxy S8 did very good, it survived. This one is still working today, even though the glass came off, it like completely disassembled, still working when subjected to extreme temperatures. I wanna do the same test for the brand new iPhone 8, which has glass on the front and back, and I see how it reacts. And these videos all around are just pretty fun, so I wanna see what happens when you dunk the iPhone 8 into liquid nitrogen. So, brand new silver one here. Never been used, sadly, going straight into the dunk tank. And I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it, turn it on. All right, so safety first, as always. Let's go ahead and get into here. All right, so let's go ahead and start with a quick example here of a sponge. I'm gonna throw it into some liquid nitrogen. Get a little bit more out. This is like the go-to example because it shows you something so malleable being affected by the liquid nitrogen a lot. It's completely hard and it just breaks. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put some liquid nitrogen in here to begin with so the bubbling can disappear and then we'll pop the iPhone 8 in there. So this is over negative 300 degrees. This is the extreme, I mean, to the extreme that I can go for temperatures. We'll do heat too. All right, wait for the smoke to clear here, and let's pop in this perfectly working iPhone 8. And do one more on top of it. It's not fully quite in there. All right. Ooh, nothing yet. Still working fine boiling in that liquid nitrogen underneath it completely. Ooh, I'm hearing cracking of some sort. Something is going on, something is amiss. Look at that from the edge of the LCD. See some warping going on, but still responding, still working. Let's see. This display does not respond to touch, nope. Surprisingly working. That's crazy. Ooh, it's changing to a greenish state here it's dimming a little bit it just sounds like it's cracking in the back really bad and that's exactly what happened with the galaxy oh something just happened it completely turned off look at that the back panel just came off it didn't crack it just all of the adhesive inside came apart i'm gonna try and pry that off real quick We'll see. Separate it, I don't want to crack that. So we'll dunk it in a little bit more after I can confirm whether it's working or not. Using a heat gun, let's go ahead and see if we can heat this up real quick. This is like extreme, extreme cold and extreme heat shock therapy. It is so cold, it has retained that coldness. This is not even making a dent melt the frost. More than sure, like some of this has gotten inside because this is the breach point. And uh, I'm really hoping this has survived. Let's see, after just a brief little heating up. One, two, three, gonna try and turn it on. And nothing. Honestly, might be the battery. The battery is so cold. Oh, oh cool, hey. Still turning on, fingers crossed it'll work here. Chances are if you drop this thing into a vat of liquid nitrogen at your job, this thing will still continue to work. Oh, or not. One, two, three. And yeah, it does show signs of life. So trying to turn on again, let's see if this time it actually works. But the glass back is coming off. I just don't wanna break it. It'd be cool to get it off in one piece. Oh, there it is. So last time it was like really slow and ghosting because of how cold it was. Look at the battery. Instantly dropped to near dead, even though it was over halfway charged a little bit ago. So works perfectly fine after a dunk where the back separated in liquid nitrogen. So round two, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna turn it on. It's just a lot of fun to watch what happens. All right, it's time to pop this guy back in. Just survived. 
one more dunk. And another full spoon. Here we go. All right. One more just to cover the surface again. Display is still working despite being in really, really bad temperatures here. It's just so entertaining. It's a completely different type of death for an iPhone. But I'm surprised at how durable this thing is, how it's handling itself. There are those bleeding again, because remember, this is a liquid crystal display and we're freezing those crystals right now. Surprisingly, it is working. So the phone has turned off. Round two has proved to be successful. Whoa, look at that. This thing is completely separating from the back. It popped again. Let's try heating it up again, see if we can get it to come off completely. Dang, that's so cool. The effect when it starts to melt. That's awesome. Very entertaining just to sit here and do this. All right. Okay, so round two, let's see if it has survived that ordeal. And, oh, it did. So this is mainly affecting the battery as the liquid crystal display is affected temporarily when it's in the dunk tank, but now it's fine. I'm just surprised at the durability of this thing, how, how it's reacting to this. The adhesives freeze and crack and separate. The front of the phone is perfectly fine. It looks like it was never abused to this extent. And look at that, it has opened. It is so slow, look at that, that's crazy. It really is freezing. There's that ghosting effect again. So it's interesting how slow this thing is. Look at the animations, completely slows them down. Ah, so that's funny. This thing reacts very interestingly and the brightness doesn't really go that bright. The display is affected too. Will liquid nitrogen affect your display, your phone? Absolutely. Will your phone survive from it? Yes, even better than the Galaxy S8. So one more time, let's dunk it again. See after round three and this time we'll put even more liquid nitrogen if it'll survive, if not, we gotta take things into our own hands. All right, so once again, let's pop it in here and we'll just keep covering this thing until, uh, until it freezes again. There's one, two, and three. All right, it's boiling in there. All right, I want to take some pictures for the phone. All right, so once again, oh shoot. Now the front of the phone has separated too, which I didn't want it to go that far. It actually cracked on me, ouch. But the back, let's see if I can, uh, in this state, remove the glass cover. Oh, oh, almost got it. Okay. Almost got it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the camera lens just popped out. That is crazy. Okay, so that is quite interesting. That's what the inside of the iPhone looks like, the charge pad. We'll scrape this off and get a fully clear-backed iPhone, uh, iPhone 8 here. It's super cool. This is exactly what I wanted to do. So you will lose your water resistance with this, but it might look cooler in the end. Who knows? So let's see if this thing still works. The screen did break, sadly. All right. It's alive. It's working. Battery life is even back to where it was. So surprisingly, still working after all of this abuse. All right, so in it goes. This is the gold one, the intact back. So it's still working here. Let's freeze it and smash it. I'm gonna pour more on it here. That is a lot of liquid nitrogen. It is boiling underneath. And uh, that is crazy. So, I can see the display is really, really warping, but the amount of time it spends being actually alive under here is crazy. I'm gonna try and take this out. Oh, this glove is freezing. Look at that, that is crazy. Oh, there it goes. So it has just died. All right, so it's been boiling in here for close to five minutes now. It is frozen solid. I mean, this thing must be super brittle. So let's see in a vise. All right, gauging the target in three, two, one. Oh my gosh.
Wow, that thing shattered completely, broke apart. Unlike the, uh, <laughs> the careful removing of the back, this one just obliterated. This snapped in half here. The aluminum got so cold, it literally snapped in half. There was a dent here. The aluminum cracked here too. You can see that is insane. This thing is so brittle. Let's pop it in, do another one here, just for the heck of it. Let's see if we can break it in half. Three, two, one. Wow, and the battery still didn't get punctured. That is crazy. There's like nothing of this phone left. Um, well, there it is, the iPhone 8 versus liquid nitrogen. Guess who won? Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.